I don't know what Ash expected to happen against Grass-type Tapu Bulu, but he's never really been one to care too much about type advantage and disadvantage. What's up, you two? What you know? My name is Domino with the Zero, and welcome to a Pokemon Sun and Moon anime review of episode 75. This week we reviewed episodes 71 through 74, and we're finishing that with episode 75 and getting completely caught up. Um, in the last episode that we did review, Ash arrived on Ula Ula Island looking in search of the island Kahuna so he can take on the Grand Trial. Upon meeting him, Nanu dodged Ash, leaving him to play with the Meowth at the police station. Acerola came around and saved Ash, inviting her to the library until Nanu came over. And eventually Ash and Acerola were able to convince Nanu to give Ash a battle to which Ash's Lycanroc lost to Nanu's Crocodile in what I think was the most lopsided loss of Ash's life. Now in today's episode, we see um, the fallout from that. So where Ash has been defeated and now he's gonna try and train up um, to take on Nanu one more time. If you checked out this episode, make sure you let me know what you thought in the comments down below, what your favorite part was, if you have any different thoughts than I did, and of course, let me know if I missed anything. Now this episode starts out with Ash rushing out of Ace Rolls home. I can't talk this morning, uh, but Ash rushes out. He's excited to go to the Ruins of Abundance to find Tapu Bulu. As they showed in the last episode, Ash is going to be trying to get Tapu Bulu to train him so that he can become stronger to actually be able to take on Nanu. And Ace Rolls comes up with a Mudsdale. They're going to be taking a Mudsdale to find Tapu Bulu. Ash jumps on the back of the Mudsdale and they set off. It's a very quick intro because that's where the theme song played. And this episode title was Tapu Bulu, Intense Slacker Training. Now, I don't really understand that title. I think that's a translation thing, um, but that's the, that's the name of it. As the episode begins, they show up on the Mudsdale at the Haina Desert where they've got to go through to get to where Tapu Bulu is. And as they're going through, Ash really does not seem to be enjoying this ride. He didn't really seem to be himself for the first couple episodes, but he's sitting there, he almost gets his hat blown off because of the wind in the desert. And actually, Rowlet slips out of his backpack and goes flying back. And Rotom, Pikachu are unsuccessful in catching Rowlet. So Poipol has to get involved, and Poipol goes extremely fast, catches Rowlet, and brings him back, and Ash is like, dang, you're really fast when you decide to be serious. I wonder if that's a hint towards something. Are we going to get to see Poipol go all out? Eventually we will. I'm excited for that. The group arrives at what we think is the Ruins of Abundance. You can see the ruins in the wall. And Ash gets all excited. He's like, oh, I'm so excited. I hope that Tapu Bulu will train us. And Acerola's is like, wait, 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 wait. If you want Tapu Bulu, you got to go up there and points to this cliff that's above the mountain. You've got to climb the mountain to get there. So as they take off, Acerola, Pikachu, Rolam, and Poipol are all running past Ash. They're having no problem getting up this mountain. And Ash is just struggling. Like I said, he didn't seem like himself. He didn't seem super motivated until this moment. Ash taps into his motivation and starts sprinting up the mountain, passing everyone except Acerola, of course, who's already at the top. And when they make it to the top, they see a grassy field with a water pond. Acerola points out that Tapu Bulu is off to the side sleeping. Ash runs up excited, asking Tapu Bulu if he remembers him and explaining that he's on the island for the island challenge and that he lost his first attempt. And Rowlet has come over and is, has been sleeping on top of Tapu Bulu. But Ash asks Tapu Bulu, will you train me? And Tapu Bulu's looking at him with one eye wide open and just closes it. And goes back to sleep. And of course, Rowlet joins him. So Poipo's like, hey, um, do you want me to wake him up? I can probably wake him up. And sprays paint on him. And of course, everyone's like, oh, uh oh, we just, we just woke up. We just forced Tapu Bulu to wake up. And Bulu wakes up and he starts digging in the land, like he starts digging on the ground. And then he goes and plants a whole bunch of seeds in the ground and he grows them into a very big tree that he jumps inside and it starts to restore his energy. And you can see him glowing. It's just like his grassy terrain, but it's not quite his grassy terrain just yet. Uh, but Rowlet comes over and also joins Tapu Bulu in the tree. And you see Rowlet sitting there and all of a sudden, you know, he's doing his usual Rowlet and then he wakes up 
and he gets this jolt of energy and he jumps out of the tree and uses an attack. And Ash is like, was that leafage? That didn't look like leafage. And Rotom was like, that wasn't leafage. That was razor leaf. So first big thing that happened in this episode is Rowlet has learned a new move. Rowlet has learned razor leaf. Now, what does that say? Because I'm pretty sure Rowlet, we're going to look it up right now, mid episode, but I'm pretty sure Rowlet learns razor leaf a lot sooner than what this would show. He learns Razor Leaf at episode 14 in Ultra Sun and Moon. So does that mean that this Rowlet is only level 14? Maybe. I mean, I guess that would make sense. He doesn't really fight all that often. After Rowlet's successful Razor Leaf, he comes over to Ash and Ash hugs him and they're celebrating and we see Tapu Bulu watching on, just kind of watching Ash, observing him. I assume trying to determine if he's worthy of being trained. After the commercial, we see Team Rocket running to try and get out of the rain. Right before the commercial, Bulu started to notice that it was starting to rain, and Team Rocket is caught up right in that. So they run into what is like a, the, what is, it's like their base, but it's like the bottom of a tree, and they're relaxing there, and they notice that they start getting healed, and I have a feeling this has to do with Bulu's restoration powers. But Jesse says, you know, this is a good time. We can train, throws Mimikyu out, and they want to go, they want to start practicing the Z move. So Jesse asks Mimikyu, hey, what kind of pose should I do to do the Z move? And everyone's like, why would you ask Mimikyu? Mimikyu that won't know. And Jesse's like, well, it's the Mimikyu Z. And just then you see Mimikyu starts doing all the dances for the fairy Z move. And uh, so shows Jesse what pose he's supposed to do. And they're all like, that was extremely weird. That was extremely ominous uh, because it's a Mimikyu doing a Z move. It was weird. Back on Bulu's land, Ash is playing with Pikachu and Poi Poi out in the rain. They're all playing in the puddle and Bulu knocks Lycanroc out from beside him and Lycanroc slides in the mud and Rowlet comes over and slides up to him knocking more mud on him. And Lycanroc gets up and shakes himself off and looks at himself and he sees himself dirty and his, his rage takes over, his eyes turn red, and he starts he starts like staring down Rowlet, like he's about to really, maybe even attack Rowlet because Rowlet got him dirty. And you see Pikachu standing in front of Rowlet, and Pikachu's like, you sure you wanna try that Lycanroc? Are you sure you wanna try that Lycanroc? I know you just lost to a crocodile, but don't you dare think that I'm gonna lose to you if you try and attack one of our teammates. But before anything could happen there, Ash runs up and gets in his face and tries to stop him. And he starts saying, hey, we used to play in the mud when you were a rock rough. Remember this time that we used to play? Remember when you were a like rock, or when you were a rock, rock rough? And Lycanroc starts having these flashbacks and he's thinking about all these different times when he was a rock rough, when they were battling against like Olivia, all these other times, saving the other Lycanrocs and eventually evolving into a Lycanroc and the rain clears up over them and Lycanroc's eyes turn back to normal. He seems to have some control over his rage. That's when Bulu floats above them and says that he will train them. So a battle begins between the two, Tapu Bulu and Lycanroc. And of course, Bulu starts off with a grassy terrain and Rotom calls out and says, hey, Ash, just so you know, in grassy terrains, grass type moves are powered up. And Ash is like, thanks Rotom. I love Rotom. I love Rotom. I think Rotom is one of the best characters that's been introduced in the anime in a very long time. Ash and Rotom, I think, work very well together. So Ash, looking at this green glow of the grassy terrain, is like, doesn't this remind you, talking to Lycanroc, of course, doesn't this remind you of the light that you saw when you evolved into a Lycanroc? And says, let's use our full power. The powers of midday form and midnight form are within you. We can do this. So the battle starts and a very fast barrage of wood hammers come out from Tapu Bulu, one of them knocking Lycanroc into a mountain. Lycanroc throws off a rock throw, which is just not a very strong attack. But Tapu Bulu goes over to his trees that he had built up, picks one of them up, and just whoo, swings and knocks all the rocks out of the air. And Ash is like, what the... Ash gets really shocked at just how strong Tapu Bulu is. And Bulu comes over with the tree and smacks Lycanroc. And Lycanroc goes flying into the water. And at this point, everyone, Acerola, all of Ash's Pokemon, and Ash himself start to get emerged. Or start to get uh, worried. What was I trying to say? Start to get nervous. Maybe that's what I was trying to say. 
but he comes out of the water and he's walking all slow. He walks up and you can tell he's all wet. When he opens his eyes, he has full control over himself and everyone's like, yeah! The theme song starts playing um, and the battle continues. Bulu attacks with a horn leech to which Ash responds with a tackle. Horn leech from a grass type Tapu Bulu tackle versus a lichen rock. Well, obviously they clashed. I don't, I don't get that, but Ash has never been one to respect the type advantage. Bulu then says, okay, fine. If that didn't work and starts his little Kamehameha solar beam and fires a solar beam at Lycan Rock and Lycan Rock dodges out of the way. And that's when he starts to glow. And Ash is like, what is going on? Is he evolving again? No, he didn't actually say that, but he says, is this maybe a new move? And Lycan Rock launches a stone edge for the first time, which was super cool. And we get to see Bulu retreat into his shell for the first time. I think that's one thing that we didn't get to see in the games as much. We only got to see Tapu Koko inside of his of his um, shell. But Bulu retreats into his shell, and of course the move doesn't really do much. It's Tapu Bulu. What do you expect to happen? Uh, but after the dust settles, Bulu's just celebrating. He's clapping for Lycan Rock and celebrating the new move. And the battle's over. Bulu's like, you did it. Awesome. Wonderful. But Bulu goes over to the tree that he had and harvests it and there are orin berries on the tree now and he shares them with all of ash's pokemon and after thanking him bulu goes over back onto the mountain and just goes and takes a nap and that's when ash talking to his lichen rock he's like okay we can do this we can beat him now can you all you did was learn stone edge and control your rage so i guess i see it a little bit but what is lichen rock gonna do against crocodile all the crocodile has to do is go for an actual ground type move and rock or lichen rock is done for so we'll see how that plays out i have some ideas as i'm sure you do too let me know your predictions for what's going to happen in the comments down below now next week seems to be we might have a code red for next week okay in the preview for next week we see team rocket meeting with nanu we see ash's pokemon training we see Beware back at Team Rocket's base checking on them. Then we see Pikachu and Mimikyu fighting in the abandoned supermarket. And we see Mimikyu go for its Z move, hitting Pikachu. Is Team Rocket about to defeat Ash for the first time? I don't know. I'm excited. It was a great episode this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments down below, and we'll see you next week for potentially a Code Red. Until then, spread some positivity, be the light, and have a blessed day.